All right, Q, this week's progress report brings us to second year left tackle, Halapuli Bati by Ty. Great job by him this past week. Spotlight was going to be on him going up against Everson Griffin. And quite frankly, we didn't hear Griffin's name all night being called. Very little because, and everyone talked about Griffin coming into this game, had 13 sacks, led this team in sacks, but Vitae, a tremendous job of keeping him away from the quarterback. This is just textbook. He's able to extend and just lock out and make sure that this guy right here has room and time to throw the football, but all game long, Ike, Vitae is a big part of the, the success of this football team. It's not easy slowing down 97. He gave up a little pressure, but I like the way he always kept himself between Nick Foles and Everson Griffin. You watch here on this flea flicker. Going to do a nice job. Initial punch there. Yeah. Now, this player is going to take a little time, right? So, you know, Griffin is going to keep working. I love the way Vitae continues to move his feet, and he's basically going to watch Griffin up the field past uh, Nick Foles. But let me show you a crucial point. Where Griffin tries to disengage and Vitae just grabs and pulls him right back in and just works him around that pocket, allows Nick Foles to step up and deliver the ball down the field. And the key there, again, is moving his feet, being able to stay in front of Everson Griffin. And then let's watch him here on this play. I like the action that you're going to get in this run play. Yep. Great play design. We're going to get Jason Kelsey popping out here. We're going to get Brandon Brooks popping out here. This action basically is going to get these linebackers to have their eyes going here. That's right. And the design of this play is to run a giant back to this side. So, listen, you're going to get a skilled guy. This guy is going to be free. He's going to come free. You're going to get a skilled guy in a one-on-one -on -one situation where you're expecting him to win against this guy. And you're right. This action gets everybody on the defense stepping this way, and it really sets up this block. And you watch Vitae and Ike. This linebacker is a fast guy. He's six feet tall. He's a former soccer player, and he can move. But yeah. watch how well this big man is able to stay with him down the field and make sure that Ajayi can get extra yards running the football. I don't know if we could have seen that type of athleticism out of Big V early this year, at least from a confidence standpoint. This is what Jason Peters made look so easy time after time, exactly. getting, getting to that second level and being able to stay in front of those defenders. Now, let's take a look here. Now, let's watch Big V and Stephen Wisniewski. These two right here, man, they did a great job on 92 all day. I tell you, the one guy waiting to get out of this game was number 92. This block starts here, but it ends up five yards down the field. That's how you get pushed on a lot of scrimmage. Now, this is a true double team. Look at this. This is embarrassing. So when you go back and you look at the film and the whole team is sitting there, that's embarrassing. Yeah. When they're able to drive you five yards off of the football, that's really creating a new line of scrimmage and giving a lot of space for then Corey Clement to run the football. Haven't heard Big D's name called a lot in the last two weeks. That's a good thing. That's a good sign. Great job. Halapuli Vati Vatai. Great progress.